Hi, today we're excited to demonstrate the Navix Ultimate Trailer Tow and Motion Bypass for the 22 and newer Super Duty trucks with a 12 inch screen. We offered this unit for the 17 to 21 trucks with the SYNC 3 and we now finally offer it for the SYNC 4 trucks. Using this unit, you're able to access all your cameras in view. You're going to have your left and the right turn camera turning automatically and you have the ability to add a trailer camera using this unit and we're going to show you all these functions right now. Uh, so let's start with the most basic feature people request the most is the left and the right turn signal. So let's hit the left turn signal switch. All right, that's the left turn. Let's hit the right turn signal switch. All right, and a lot of people ask, this function can be easily turned off. If you don't like it or you want this off, you just hold, I'm not gonna show it now, but you would just hold the camera button for 10 seconds and that disables the feature. It'll be the same way to enable the feature. Otherwise, if it's enabled, every time you hit the turn signal, you will see a camera. Uh, now, let us show you the camera view. So let's click the camera button once, and that's gonna give you the front camera views. All right, so now you can choose any view. All right, so let's choose any view. And obviously, this will work at any speed. All right, if you press the camera button once, it'll exit out of this video mode. Yep. Now, if you wanted to see any of the rear cameras, you'll press it twice. So let's press this twice. All right, let's change the view again. You can pretty much select all your views, and you could be doing this while driving at any speed and we'll show you that. So let's go ahead and select uh, the bed cam. A lot of people ask for the bed cam. All right, there's your bed camera. So now with this unit, what you can do, let's say you have a camper, or well, for some reason you want this to be your pr primary view. Let me show you how we set it. You put the car in reverse. Let's put the car in reverse. Uh, let's select the camera view. All right, I guess this camera is already selected. So as you see now, this camera will have priority. To put back wherever camera you use, you like to use, you just click on that camera and that's the view. Remember the last view that you saved. All right, so let's put the regular view. Let's put the regular view, yep. Let's put the car back in park. And let's put it back in drive. Oh, let's put it back in reverse. And I'll pretty much stay on that same view. Okay, uh, let's put the uh, let's put the car back in park. We also added a trailer camera. You can activate the trailer camera while going forward by holding the left arrow on the left side of the steering wheel. Let's press and hold that button. All right, and it will stay on for as long as you're going. Now, if a lot of people ask for this to be the primary view, so let's say you have the your cameras, the original cameras are blocked in reverse and this is your trailer camera. You can also have this be the primary camera in reverse. So let's go ahead and demo that. Let's put the car in reverse. Now in reverse, you're gonna hold and select the right arrow in this case, while in reverse. All right, I'll give you that camera view. Let's put the car in park. This car has retained, uh, let's give it a few seconds. It retains the last camera for about 10 seconds. All right, let's put the car in reverse. All right, and automatically go to the trailer camera. So let's turn off the trailer camera mode. All right, and now you're back to your rear camera view. All right, let's put the car in drive. All right, let's go for a ride and we'll just show you a couple of views. All right, so let's, let's go forward. All right, press the right turn signal because we're gonna be turning right. So you go, right turn signal camera comes on. All right, I'm gonna make this turn. Let's turn on the bed camera. Let's look at the bed camera. So we're gonna press it twice. All right, 
we'll change the view. All right, and there's your bed camera. All right, so there you go. You can go as fast as you want. This camera will remain on. All right, let's let's say you want to exit. You just press once, and you wait a few seconds. All right, we also, we can't show this now, but this unit will also let you put in addresses while driving. So there's no more restrictions. So as you're going forward and you want to change, you want to put in a new destination or make a change in CarPlay and Auto on the factory now, this unit will also let you do that. All right, so if you're looking to use your cameras in motion, we offer that. If you're looking to add an additional camera input, we offer that as well. We also offer a separate unit that'll give you an HDMI input and you can also add up to four additional cameras. So thank you for watching and make sure to visit navix.com.